All right, now let me see. I think we should be. We're back. We're back. We are so back. We're so back. So back, everybody. Cyborg Grizzly Games, thank you for subscribing with Prime. So that is, there goes my idea of, tell you what, next time I'll just do it in Discord. Like, you know what we'll have to do? We'll have to have a, a Discord viewing when that shitty, um, whenever the next Daily Wire movie comes out. Like, we'll just have a Discord party and everybody can watch it there. Yeah. Wah, wah, cancel culture and then they copy strike anybody who criticizes them. Yeah. Uh, Yenzo, the Discord is, if you uh, go on the Patreon, $3 and up tier gets Discord access, uh, and it just gives it to you automatically. Robin X Ruthus, I recently, or briefly dated a guy who is now a producer on the Pendragon Cycle. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, Ukrainian, we have, we've been having a Discord for a while. We have Discord, uh, all up in it. Hella Discord. Alright, now it is my I need to go and check and see if I'm back on YouTube actually. Cause it's not saying I'm live, it says I'm live over on Twitch. Is it not live for YouTubers? Not what I wanted. Okay, hang on y'all, give me one second. I'm gonna take this down. What the fuck? This is just a warning. If it happens again, your channel will get a strike and you won't be able to upload, post, or live stream for one week. Look at your content and the policy. Alright, well, I'm going to appeal. So I might not be able to, like, stream on YouTube right now because of this. Give me a second, y'all. Um...
Alright, so now can I get back up on YouTube, or what the fuck is up? Okay, there we go. I'm streaming on YouTube again. Perfect. I guess that that works. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker. Alright, YouTube is live. Thank you all. Thank you guys for waiting and chilling. Can't believe this shit. Um, man. What a... Fun night. Welcome back and F the DW. Gobs Vincent, thank you very much for the support. Scruffy Puppy Brains, thank you for following. Ricky Dicklander, thank you for subbing with Prime. Dark Excalibur, thank you for subbing with Prime. Uh, thank you all for hanging out and supporting. Vetra, thank you for supporting. Uh, Spooky Piss, thank you all for following. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Let us now wash the taste away of Matt Walsh. Mm. So good. It's just water. But the Godzilla cup does add to the flavor. Ugh. Microplastics. I clone us dead domain. Uh, Sky News Australia is basically DW with, sec with sexier accents. I'll be the judge of that, I think. I'll be the judge of that. Scary pierogi. I've seen Godzilla v Kong twice. Of course I've seen it. What are you talking about? Went, saw, I got, I have all three of the cups. And a plushie. Uh, Mockingbird, can you mod Renaru? I will try on Twitch. Last night it was not letting me knight somebody as a mod so we will see how that goes really quick and then we'll get into this laura trump business while people are still coming in all right so i'm gonna add you as mod i i don't know what happened last night jen scarlet all right, Renaru, you have been modded. Use it responsibly or I'll kick you in the butt. Yeah, Trans Emerson, wait, they actually took it down. Yeah, they uh, they took it down. I think it was the second show that they took down uh, when I started doing the second episode, which whatever, I guess they don't want people to, because it's technically behind the paywall of Daily Wire Plus or whatever the fuck, so. All right, let's get... Uh, Laura Trump sings cover song on Sky News Australia. Uh, Churgles, thank you for following. Cruella K, Pickle Rick, 2013. Austin St. Clair, 499. You're on YouTube right now. Thank you so much. Alyssa Grace, 499. Show us respect or we'll get angry about your First Amendment. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is, mind you, this is the second time now, second, two, twa, that I've had to deal with this shit from Daily Wire. Second. Like, they took down my Lady Ballers review, which I'm still pissed about. If I ever meet Jeremy Boring, it's on site. Because I'm still... That video was my fastest, most viewed video ever. Ever. Like, 70k in, like, a day. Bonkers. Bananas. Alright, let's 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 get into this. release of a single that you have apparently recorded is this fake news or is this real you are so nice let me just start by saying that i am not a professional singer i'm not seeking this as a career i have always loved music <laughs> i've played the piano my whole life and i got an opportunity to record a cover of an incredible song, Tom Petty's I Won't Back Down. And I said, who would turn this down if you get an opportunity like this? So I'm sure I'll get a lot of critique from all the haters out there of my voice and, and my singing ability. Uh, I'm great on a karaoke stage after people have had a couple of drinks, <laughs> but I'm very proud of what I've done. And I think it's a great track and it's a, it's a new spin on a song that so many people 
this is this is like that one joke from Seinfeld where George is like, well, I'm not ashamed. And Jerry says, well, that's the problem. You should be. And she's saying she's very proud. It's like, that's the problem. No, so really excited that it, it comes out officially today here in America. Well, you have to sing us a line here on Aaron. Come on. I'll do my I'll do my best without any music or anything. Okay. <laughs> well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. And there's more to come. <laughs> that was amazing. Clap, clap, clap. No, it wasn't. It super 10,000% was not. Like, it wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't... Yeah, uh, Nate Raider Raid. The thing is, she sounds okay. She just, like, it's just... It's just like, um... It's just like nothing. It's just like, uh, what it sounds like when you, like, are singing alone or singing in a shower. Yeah, generic dive bar country voice is a good way to put it. Wonder Boy, thank you very much for raiding with a party of three. <laughs> Chocolate cat girl. This is what happens when you sing in the shower and your BF tells you to make it a career. All right, what else do we want to do tonight? Because it is getting a little late for me. I know I don't want to let the stream go just yet. Let's do some... Do we have some other stuff that we can react to that's happened recently? Nothing too big. Nothing too crazy. Watch top 10 Godzilla moments. Hmm. Hmm. Can we watch SpongeBob? Dog, Coyote Gunner, I just got... I'm not going within a thousand miles of SpongeBob. Are you off your nut? Are you off your rocker? Wait, there was that Sneeko gay Hitler thing. What? Uh. Jackson Hinkle and Sneeko debate Hitler's sexuality. I hate Smooth Sneeko. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. Smooth Sneeko is gonna haunt my- that's my sleep paralysis demon. Alright, is it- is it just the Hassan? Clip? Or is there anything else? All right, I'm, I'm gonna watch his songs, I guess. Also, this take that I think is bad. My speech of the Palestine National, uh, uh, Palestine. I realized that this is like a stream on a stream on a stream. Like this is, this is streamception. This is too much. I understand. I do want to watch this though. I do want to, uh, let's skip through it a little bit. like hitlerian stuff you're gonna kind of go down the path of it's like that you know we okay. all know how it ended for hitler um okay what, what do you mean sneeko is and i i don't say this lightly because as somebody who has watched and specialized in um keeping tabs on a lot of very stupid people um fucking Sneeko is one of the Sneeko is one of the dumbest people I've ever seen like him and Aiden Ross are neck and neck for like 
the dipshit grand finals. Like, just unbelievably, not just stupid in how they talk and how they present themselves, but incurious about the world around them. Uh, Shredded Carrots, thank you for following. Yeah, Demi Bird, honestly, that doesn't surprise me. I think, I think, like, being unmedicated for like that he would probably he is in this like manosphere bullshit center where he probably sees that like trying to get medication or trying to get any kind of help as like a weakness or whatever uh scruff puppy brains keep those on lock because i will watch some fun vibes after this i just don't think it's a good path to go down hitler at the end of the war he killed himself he's a fat Allegedly. Well, and he allegedly did. Allegedly. Famously. Jackson Hinkle. Did Jackson Hinkle just call Hitler an F slur? <laughs> oh, man. Didn't burn the transgender institute because Nazis did, weren't all transgenders and gays, you know? I, I, I just think that it's. I don't think it's smart to flirt with that stuff. Wait, so you, you're saying Hitler was gay? A hundred percent. What the fuck? A hundred percent. They were all transgenders and gays. The Nazi? How? He just said, hang on. Go down. Hitler, at the end of the war, he killed himself. He's a fat Allegedly. Well, and he allegedly didn't burn the transgender institute because Nazis did, weren't all transgenders and gays, you know? Hitler allegedly didn't burn the transgender institute, the the Wieselshaft or whatever it was, because the Nazis were transgender and gay. I. Uh, that's like that that's a next level dumbass like that's i've i've heard some dumb shit that is fuck man that's uh okay i i i just think that it's I don't think it's smart to flirt with that stuff. Wait, so you, you're saying Hitler was gay? A hundred percent. What the fuck? A hundred percent. They were all transgenders and gays. The Nazis? Yes. That's why they burned that Hirschfeld Institute, whatever it's called. They yeah, no, the Hirschfeld tried to start implementing transgenderism and then they burned down. Uh, Hirschfeld tries to start. This is another thing Sneeko has talked about with like Nick Fuentes and stuff, where he not so subtly hinted that Jewish people were behind transgenderism, which is not not the case. Um, obviously, but this is just, ing uh, I they burned his books and they know that the, it's just like two guys that have, uh, different opinions on the optics of defending Hitlerian politics here. The doctors within Hirschfield said that it was burned down because the Nazis had all of their private information in the Institute because they were, that's why they mental. burned it down. I thought they yes. burned it down because they were trying to start the only God, see how, e like, this is literally how easily Sneeko is convinced of something, is that, like, Jackson Hinkle says some unhinged, unbelievable bullshit, and Sneeko is like, oh, that's why? And Jackson's like, yeah, and he's gonna be like, oh, damn. Source on record from within the hospital said they burned it because the Nazis were all going there. I mean, why would they not burn any other one in Germany? Why would they not attack? <laughs> this is so, I'm sorry. I got to give them credit. This is the funniest and most creative way, I guess, do Holocaust slash Nazi denialism. It's something that I've never heard before. He's saying that the Nazis were all trans and gay. And that's why they burned the, the, uh, the, the largest like medical research uh, conducted globally at the time on trans people to cover up the evidence that they were all gay <laughs> that's awesome this is not an uncommon claim about the nazis the gay part i've fucking had not heard this before i've yeah, i've by never the way, like i've heard i've heard there are gay like there were gay nazis for sure 
but they're all trans and gay? The fuck? Uh, Robin X Ruthless, thank you for subbing with Prime. Yeah, I have I have nothing nothing against really Hassan. Um, now if you want to fucking talk Destiny, there's a motherfucker who can get his just desserts. This. So you're saying Blitzkrieg was a bunch of fucking trains? Come on, they it, lost. They lost. Uh, they were pretty damn close to taking over the. I can't believe that a bunch of trannies and gay people will be able to take over the world. Well, they're they're radicals. They're insane, but they're also funded by Anglo Saxons, and you should never underestimate. Uh, the, uh, uh, have I seen the Good Times trailer? Um, I don't know. Good times, good times, good times. Why does that, that sounds familiar. I might have. Made that, I mean, look at the Ukrainian military today. They're sending women, they're sending trans like literally spokeswoman uh spokesperson of the military is a trade and the russian military is so what is happening what the absolute fuck is going on here i follow hinkle at the start when he was still your fan i was there when he started becoming mega communist after the russia invasion he go full mode he's the biggest grifter but super manipulated the sad part he's gonna even become bigger and more known shaking my head all like straight up right wing <laughs> oh yeah no uh jackson hinkle has he was one of the people I talked about being a grifter in uh, my... I, I think that's pretty much the end of it. Um, God damn. All right, yeah, in the chat, if you guys have fun videos to watch, let's let's check it out. Good time. Why, what is good times? Why, why does that sound... Oh, yes. Okay, yes, I have seen it. I have watched the trailer. It is fucking... See, here's the unfortunate thing is I kind of see what they're going for. Except, you know what it looks like? It looks like it's made by the people who made that GameStop used game cover art that everybody had it. At one point. Like this shit, you see that? That's the art style for good times. Yeah, tell me that shit doesn't bring back memories. That's that's dead on. That's dead on, dude. All right, Jen Scarlet, I got you. Cruel TK, I got you. Uh, Pet Dogma, it's not an anime. It's a adult animated series nutjack core birth of a nation the animated series oh christ alive oh. Right, mockingbird i got you all right let's let's keep it at 4 for now oh, mockingbird give me yours come here i got you All right, Milky, what is this? I see a butt. All right, I'm going, I'm trusting you on this one. O corpo dessa cidade sou eu. Gostinho de chocolate é o meu. Estrela da Nestlé. Gostoso de morder, eu sou fofinho. Macio. I have so many questions, um, but mostly why, why so stacked like that? Why, why Das Booty? Huh? It's like, why caked up on, on a Sunday afternoon? What are you going to do with all that ass? 
Star Wars, but cool. What is... So, like, what are we talking? Like, The Force Unleashed? What are you, what are you talking? <laughs> yeah, when you open your candy bar, chocolate bar, and get cake instead. Oh, Cerveza Cristal! Hell yeah. This, I, oh man, what a beautiful time Cerveza Cristal was for like a hot minute. You know what, Cerveza Cristal is beautiful. That That's one of my favorite memes of the year. Oh, Renaru, you're about to learn about Cerveza Cristal. And a good friend. It, so, for those who don't know, Cerveza Cristal, in certain edited versions of, like, South American uh, re-airings of Star Wars movies, they weren't able to actually have an ad break. So, what they would do is they would cut stuff like that into the movie as, like, a bizarre product placement. And Cerveza Cristal shows up in, like, five different spots. It's so goddamn funny. It's so good. I want, like, if if there were more ad campaigns like that, I would, I, I would, I, I would stand. I would stand, honestly. All right, let's do this one. <laughs> Some people come to me and say, I've never felt the need to eat cum. Why should I? And it's just horrifying to think about. Is this AI? This must be AI. I'm willing to bet. Yeah, this is AI. Young man listening to some random person on the internet. If they want me to say to them to eat as much cum as possible, they must have never heard that before from anyone. And it's important. Very important. Some might say, well, it's just cum. What's the big deal if you eat a little or a lot? But it's so much more than that. A lack of cum in your diet is a manifestation of chaos in your body. It's a dragon of missed opportunities that already took a bite out of you. And it wants you to stop swallowing other fluids, and it will eventually eat your whole body. Well, that's not a very optimistic perspective. So what do you do about that? You must understand that eating as much cum as possible is actually important. You need a goal. Let's say you want to eat the most cum possible. Okay, so you start swallowing it. But then you look at others and think, oh, they eat so much cum, I'll never be able to eat that much. <laughs> Wrong. Don't compare yourself to others. Look at the amount of cum you ate yesterday. Was it a lot or a little? Okay, so you swallow more today. Is it more than yesterday? Good. You made your first step, and now you must take a step a day until you reach your goal. <laughs> of course, some people might say that eating cum is gross and not healthy, but they're wrong. Horribly wrong. If you feel that eating a lot of cum is important, then you should do something about it. You can either acknowledge your desire and eat as much cum as possible, or say to yourself, oh, there's no way I can swallow that much cum. Oof. You can act as if the concept of eating cum didn't exist, but it does. And eventually you're going to realize that when you're not getting enough cum to satisfy your cravings. And that's not going to be a happy day for you. Much to think about. Thank you, doctor. Very good. Thank you for whoever sent that in. Cerveza Cristal! I got that stuck in my head. Cerveza Cristal! Mean Girls blooper reel? That is so random. I, I, fuck, I like blooper reels, though. I fuck with it. Six years ago. It's so... What? I... What was I watching a blooper reel? Oh, I was watching a blooper reel for, um, oh, um, oh, fuck. 
fuck, what was it? Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz has a great blooper reel. Alright, everybody pick some rubbers. Come on. We're not gonna put themselves on. Let's go. No one wants large? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna stop this one though because I think that music will get me will get me something. Uh, unfortunately, I do I do love a good a blooper. Uh, let me look up real quick. I'll look up the the Hot Fuzz blooper reel because Hot Fuzz blooper reel is one of the favorite I've seen in a while. How's the hand? <laughs> Hello, Nicholas. How's the hand? <laughs> okay, okay. Professional. I'm Don't trying. Stop your gig. Well, then you're already packed. We're offering you a. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just something that's so fucking funny about watching somebody not be able to hold back laughter that makes you want to laugh too. As our guest. Yes. <laughs> 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 Detective Sergeant Wainwright and Detective Constable Cartwright. That, Patty, that Detective Sergeant Wainwright. Detective. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Sergeant Wainwright. Detective Constable Cartwright. Detective. <laughs> 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 Bash Prime, Portal so Piggy, and Lydia X. Off. Thank you for following. Okay, how's your father? Right up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been an ice speed pursuit? Yes, I have. You ever fired a gun whilst an ice speed pursuit? No. You ever fished a guy out of a bonfire and found it to be a tramp? Yes. Oh. Um. Have you ever? S did you? <laughs> you ever slept with a chicken? Did you ever been caught on training day? Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anybody can come into your shop. Nice ass on him. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Did you ever do crack like a training day? Yes. Oh, for mm. fuck's sake. <laughs> oh god. This is That's Hot Fuzz. Yeah, we're watching the Hot Fuzz blooper reel. All right, let's go. Uh, Scarlet or Scruff Puppy Brains. Let's do that one. Hot Fuzz is great. I showed it to a partner once and she fell asleep and I'm still mad at her over it. Because she was like, oh, I was having fun, but then I uh, fell asleep. All right, let's watch. I got to go back and go through some other ones. Uh, I used Tinder once. Bob Ross look like <laughs> Fix yourself. You told me Bob Ross isn't a goal. You crazy. Cute, but crazy. <laughs> Boy pie. Get a haircut while you're at it. <laughs> I thought I thought you were being playful. You you messaged me first. Are you trans? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? No. <gasps> you're succeeding at fucking with me. I'll give you that. Is that all you have to say? Oh, okay. Yeah, just leave. Just leave. Yeah, great. <laughs> oh, wanna know the best part? I didn't lie. This was real. This happened. This is all I had. This is what I have to deal with. She matched with me just to call me Trans Bob Ross, which was meant to be an insult. I have lost all direction in life, and this is it for me. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very.
very few things in history are black and white, a lot of it is gray. And that includes the Civil War. It was actually fighting for states' rights. States' uh. rights to do what? Excuse me, sir? States' rights to do what? What did you want to use those rights for? You usually don't mention that part. I want to hear it. I wonder what you want to do with them. Well, uh, the, the Confederacy didn't want to be oppressed by the North. Really? What were they preventing you from doing? What did they not want you to do? Listen, my friend, there was more to it than slavery for why we made the Confederacy. That is really, really interesting because the guy who made the Confederacy, the vice president, said that it was because they wanted to have slavery and all the state constitutions said they wanted to have slavery and they seceded at the moment that the president got elected that was going to abolish slavery. Boy, the Confederacy sure looks slavery adjacent, at least. Now, anyway, states' rights do what? You're ignoring our other concerns. Yeah, but among the concerns was slavery, so I don't care because you deserve it because you're evil. And slavery is evil. That's a very... You should know this. By the way, could you answer my question, you fucking traitor? States rise to do what? Well, it's our heritage. <laughs> it lasted five years. The Annoying Orange has existed longer than the Confederacy did. The fucking Annoying Orange, dude. You're going to celebrate a nation so fucking weak the Annoying Orange outlived it. We're, we're states rise. Yeah, Douglas. Ah! Eat sticks, say boy. <laughs> Get Douglas. Get Douglas is one of my favorite new fucking things. Oh, I love that. All right. Get Douglas. There's no escape, Riddler. Where are the bombs? Not so fast, Batman. Answer my riddle and I shall tell all that you want. Get it wrong, and Gotham shall fall. Damn you, Riddler. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? What, what are you doing? Oh, no, I understood. A map. Did you just... <clears throat> Try this for size. I come from a mine and get surrounded by wood always. Everyone, okay, I see what well, you're doing. I'm not doing anything. No, I clearly That's see... all then. You've just been Googling these? What? No, I was just telling Robin about how he's he, he's really missing out you here. You know, I put a lot of time and effort into these, you know, with the riddles and everything. Yeah, yeah well, it's kind of weird I can just find all of these riddles online. Isn't isn't that kind of just strange? You know how difficult it is to get away with putting, like, five bombs across the city wearing green spandex? Maybe just don't. You know, Batman, I, I really don't have any friends or anything. This is, like, my one social interaction of the month, and you're kind of ruining it for me right now. Okay, I hear you. Counterpoint. You're a terrorist. Oh, so all of a sudden that justifies you cheating? In every conceivable way. Oh. <laughs> that was very... <laughs> that was very fucking... Um, Harley Quinn coded. Yeah, we're we're finishing up uh, the stream because we have we got canned, shit canned by Daily Wire. So we had to change... Thanks a lot, Matt Walsh. Thanks a lot, Jeremy Boring. Uh, a large crackhead contingent because we were just down the street from the methadone clinic and this woman came in and she saw like that because oh it's Katya her. and and she and she was the one who pulled down her jeans and she had um like uh, leggings on and she said spandex is a right not a privilege <laughs> unprovoked unprovoked and I knocked on the door to give her my rent she asked me if I had AIDS <laughs> <laughs> and do you ever do like stargazing you know, look up at the sky like, oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, Cassiopeia. Yeah. Cassiopeia. What, what are the big ones? Cassiopeia. The Big Dipper. Oh, is that Little Dipper. Yeah, that's the only one. Hercules. That... Hercules. <laughs> no. Shut up. Yeah. I farted when I... Oh, I hate fart stories. I do, too. It's like a straight boy thing. Like, hmm. Although, I got... So, I go down these... Woo! I'm a mountain biking vampire. Oh, Which no. from the future. Fuck my pussy with a rake, mom. Oh! That looks like a rake. <laughs> uh, that I love. What? 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 Nothing, I just like you. No. <laughs> you know what I did in the 90s? I ran home in black jeans. And this is how I know I'm a woman. I ran home, I had to pee so bad. I had to pee so bad that I ran home. And I was in the woods. I was in the woods, mama. Like, I, I was in the woods. I fell to the ground, dramatically fell. Like, ugh. Oh, and then pissed myself in the <laughs> black Jesus jeans Christ. and cried. <laughs> You're gonna die up there. I'm Katya. Ready for 
children? Thundercats. Oh, candy what? for children? Open the children's candy. Oh, God, I knew it was happening and I still got scared. You guys hate you. Uh, it's time to do like funky jewelry. <laughs> what was the action? Just trying to do like funky jewelry. Ew! Ew! That was not sweet. Can I share something? <laughs> I wish you would. This dress under this poncho is so tight that I think if I went like this, Roch Macho Man Randy Savage style, I could rip it off. I think that would be very fun and exciting. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's... <laughs> That's kind of sexy though. It is sexy. I love, don't laugh at me. I'm not gonna laugh. I love to learn. And don't laugh at me. I just said, don't laugh at me. This is a fabulous trick. Um, I would host drag shows. You know, you know when you used to host drag shows, like local drag shows? Mm -hmm. And I would be like, all right. I uh, <laughs> misanthropic. I didn't know Trixie would tell. Trixie and Katya have a, a podcast called, uh. Um, <laughs> so I guess, I didn't know they filmed it, but that's very Oh birthdays are it. Or, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whose birthdays are it? <laughs> is it I love that. in your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is how I mentioned it. But she, I is that why your lace looks like? Um. Oh! <laughs> 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 you can see the cord that's all. Crunch and munch. Woo! <gasps> Look at my head when you do that. Harvard ceiling. <laughs> Grab my arm again and shake it. <laughs> what is your ultimate Christmas wish? No jokes. I want to fucking be happy about. I'm, no, I'm not joking, bitch. Today's Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, honey, Thanksgiving. Oh, honey, thanks living. Uh, lady, look, look, uh, ladies. Uh, lady, look like a lady. <laughs> and I would go like, all right, I need three people's birthdays in it, and they would come up on stage and it'd be like, yeah, you, you, it's your birthday. <laughs> and, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm not uh, joking. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that little editing is so fucking great. Um, I might try and clip I'm not joking, bitch, to try and have it as like a I might try and do it as like a stream thing. Um just have it be like something that people can trigger somehow. I love that. Like making fun of people love, for having a birthday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's your birthday. birthday. <laughs> yes, I am woman. Ready? Care for a fucking? <laughs> it will never work because it's so awful. And I'm the only surefire way to disengage your temporomandibular joint, Dr. Bitchcraft. <laughs> I don't know what. Let's party. Katya. <laughs> that was a long one. That was a wide. I don't know what happened to you. I don't either. I, don't I, don't either you. I got a sunburn and I'm fucked now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hello, my name is Miss Kim, and I'm extra super fancy on my clothes from Dolce and Gabbana. You better not shout, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to fuck me in the rake with a pussy mom. Oh, got it backwards. Do you know what your place Jesus was? Jesus Christ. Like in the class? Yeah. Hi, but not like Velvet Torn or anything. I was 15 out of 160. Really? Yeah. You're really smart. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking. You're, uh. What's you're, not tired and drag? I'm not gay. I'm bisexual. What does it matter? Yes. Everybody, we used to call that bi now, gay later. Oh, yeah. When you're like in 10th grade and you're like, I'm bi. And she calls me dumb. And I call her. No, but the way I actually said that, uh, no, that was me in 10th grade, though. Don't read me like that. That's a really good question. We... Love that yeah. elegant walk. <laughs> I had my hip replaced. <laughs> Leave me alone. She said, she said, stepping in. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, bro. She's like, y'all better watch it. I got a new hip. Now walk. <laughs> <laughs> is not a myth. <laughs> we like Lady Gaga, honey. Oh, and we are divas, divas who honey, work serving, it. Serving, honey. <laughs> we know about fashion, food, and clothing, and culture, and environments, honey. <laughs> Creating an environment using lighting, honey. Go into the pier one by the end table. <laughs> I'm getting older, my body's changing, and that's not something I'm going to apologize for. <laughs>
<laughs> I wish you would. I wish you would. Shut up, you could. Hold her on. Why don't you have shoes on? It's my house. Why don't you have shoes on? Take your shoes off. Shut up. Thank you. you. Ooh, there ain't no other way. Say bye. I got it. Yeah. Bye. Oh, it's too, too, no, too, too. Oof. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like if I say it quiet, it doesn't sound like I mean it. I love you, Marcy. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, oh, that, that was weird. weird. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Do it like a, do like a soft. How about like a, um, a soft and tender goodbye. Like you want to see the person again in ten minutes. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Voice. Yeah, yeah. There's Buffalo Bill. Oh yeah, it does what it's told. <laughs> Bye. Oh, rotten. That is mean. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Oh. God. Can you do it? Goodbye. You are really good at that. I love. I love greetings. <laughs> I love greetings. Oh my god, I love them so much. Oh man. I could I could probably watch Trixie and Katja stuff all day. Uh, I will leave Mark Leda shit because that is hey. Uh, if y'all want a sneak peek just for all you cool cats and kittens in chat on the video I'm working on next after my Satanic Temple video is out in a week or two or whenever the fuck it gets done, um, Mark Leda is next on my shit list so look look forward to that and go if you want sneak peeks and stuff the patreon is there um i'm gonna go i'm starving i'm doing me a heckin starve as as the cool kids would say i'm doing me a heckin starverino pretty sure that's what kids are saying mark leda is a trauma poverty tourist piece of shit um <laughs> who is, has made my list. All right, but no, no, nobody in chat, go. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go raid Tofu Ghost, so everybody stay in chat, so we can go raid a small channel. Uh, give them some support, give them some love. Give them some love. And have a great rest of your night, everybody.